Hello everybody and welcome to episode 50 of my Timber and Stone Let's Play. Oh my god, it's episode blinking 50. So, to celebrate this massive milestone, what I've done is gone back to the last 49 episodes and I've put together a few of the clips of the major events or bits and bobs that have happened for everyone to enjoy. So, enjoy the recap and I'll see you in the next episode. May there be 50 more to come. Bye for now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Timber and Stone on the morning of day four. And I have to start by saying I have realised I have made a pretty catastrophic mistake. And what I mean by this is I have been obviously setting in and trying to decide how I'm going to protect myself. But little did I know that there is a fundamental flaw with my chosen plan. And that fundamental flaw is that because of the nature of the enemy spawning effectively uh, well in its simplest terms it will not work because the enemies spawn at the edges of the map so I need to uh, change the location that I am going to be building my castle much sooner than I originally planned so what I mean is I'm going to start moving my base to the top of this hillside here almost immediately. So I'm going to start by clearing out sort of a plateau and then building my keep and going forth from there. So I need to reallocate almost all of my resources to clearing out and starting the work over here. So much need for more personnel but no opportunity to provide them yet. Well, there's been no merchant actually, that's been very annoying. I haven't received uh, an opportunity to get any new resources or anything because uh, my merchants never turned up. So there's lots of things that we would like, but not very many things that are going to be happening. So let's go fly a kite. No. So we need to put another layer on here. And on here. Oh, just as I spoke of a merchant, we have one arrive. Phenomenal. Now, what level are you at? Level 16. Who else is nearby? Actually, the only person outside is you, Chopzilla. You're halfway through level 13. Come and be a trader for the day. This could be fun. What are the chances we'll get something useful? Good. Should give us some wood. Then you're the builder, so you. I believe I set you to not be a retard. You'll go now and finish the bridge. Which just needs some fences at the end. I suppose you better put the road in place. Oops. Let's see if this will give us any more migrants arriving at our lovely settlement there we go so it'll be interesting to see if that triggers anyone to spawn or walk across that bridge I will deal with this and beautify and sort this out in a minute yep so the bridge is now finished the magic levitating bridge of death so it will be interesting to see if we ever catch an arrival along that particular bridge Problems even building the fences. Don't want to block his angle though, that's the problem. You can't build a single post or a pole as I'd want to. Let's watch him throw himself down. Whee! Logically, he could have got off halfway down not totally impossible. He's going to step off the side anyway. Bunk. Oh well. 
Oh crap. That wasn't fast enough. Not even sure what it is that I've just used. Sand? Even though I had sand? Well, unfortunately, that's a nightmare. time working out the structure of how I want it all laid out. Ooh, hello. I love it when I turn on my recording and just as I return on my recording someone arrives. Either a, a, a merchant or in this case it appears we have a farmer who wants to join our settlement. So let's have a look at this chap or chapette. Edward is a level four disloyal. Now Disloyal means nothing to me at this moment in time, so I'm not really sure what to take from that. But he is an archer, which always beneficial. He is a stonemason. He is a herder, which could be useful if we find out that my herder is currently overworked. Um, dum -dum 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 -dum. He's not a very good trader. Do have a lot of food, which is not a problem. Food is not a problem for us. But it is causing us problems in the sense that having a lot of food brings a lot of goblins onto the map. So we currently have a lot of goblins. Um, you bring flax seeds with you. That's That there, my friend, is the singularly greatest thing I've ever seen ever. All hail the arrival of Edward. You are accepted, mate. Not because you're any good. Simply because you bring flax seeds with you. Oh my life. Nearly missed that. Where are they? Where are those beautiful flax seeds? Build, sir. Build me flax seeds. Now these are all three wide. Go for it. Build me some flax seeds. Oop. Oliver. Oh crap. Where's Oliver going? It's all kicking off. Right, Matthew. Get a fucking pedal on over here. Sort this guy out. Goblin Archer? Where is Matthew? What is going on? Just lost Nigel. Can't use Matthew. Everything's going wrong. Get out of bed. Jesus H. Christ. So, um, unfortunately, Nigel has been one hit killed. Oh, we're dealing with a continuous raid. You're not a very good shot, apparently. You're just wasting my bronze arrows. I've got one food as well. Hang on. What is going on? with that. You're facing the wrong way. Now from what I'm aware of, direction of, of view is now affected by your chosen direction of facing. Oh, you missed. Yes, he's fired one shot already. Oh, no! I 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Everything's gone wrong in this episode. Leave Matthew to bottom him. So I've lost my highest level archer who had full steel armor to a one hit kill from a goblin because he missed his first three shots. Holy shit. For all of my dudes. Although Matthew will go. Oops, how tired are you? You're alright. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bang the mic. Always professional to bang the microphone. Clearly we killed something when I wasn't paying attention. No! No! Oh no! The one thing I didn't want to happen fell. Oh, shag. I lost fell. My long term, long time forager friend who'd just been on a map wide adventure to pretty much annihilate all of the enemies that befouled him. And the very last Goblin Archer, the very one that I said. I do not want to lose my guy to this archer. Killed. Fell. Absolutely gutted. Oh. He was my highest level fisherman. My highest level forager. And now he's my deadest, most deadest. Oh, so I've lost Nigel. My archer. I've lost Philip. My archer. And now I have lost Fell. Fell, glorious Fell. Oh, what a sod you are, game. What a sod you are. There's no unit to guard. Stay there, that's your position. You are on duty. We have archers on duty as well. But we have finished with the horrible bombshell that is the death of Fell Valentine. Fell Valentine, been me with me since the start. I took a risk, I took a gamble, taking him out on a worldwide adventure to slay some enemies. He was up to level 10. He was my most experienced forager. Slaying spiders, slaying goblins, slaying skeletons with the help of Matthew. Collecting me loads of useful resources. Oh, crap, what was that? Let's not have another one of my guys killed. Did not spot that spider very well. No. Oh, no. I misclicked him. And he got killed. Got a one hit kill by a spider. I am the worst person for the Valentine family ever. They are going to want absolutely nothing to do with me now. I've not only killed Fell Valentine. But now David Valentine has fallen as well. Just leveled him up for tailoring as well. Fart. Another death for the Valentine family. Matthew, go on a rampage and destroy some spiders. Why did Matthew get killed? I, I know, I brought him over here for that purpose. 
Nail it. Stand perfectly still. Ah, uh, spiders really are a weak source. So the idea behind the new defensive structure is going to be that I'm going to then have a long and very defined corridor along which the goblins will run and hopefully my archers with their long bows will be able to rain fire down upon them without them being off under this little ledge over here. I watched the videos back a bit to find out when how they died and the majority of my archers died when the, and the enemy archer was just hiding under this ledge here or under here so they were firing their one shot one kill when my archer was just down there ignoring them. So hopefully with this system and a desire to have three archers on duty at all time so I'm probably going to strip out these bollards because they don't protect anyone or anything and just have three archers stood, dun dun dun, two on duty at any one time so therefore we should always have the ability to kill anything that walks down this corridor. I've also been in, or set my mind in process of extending the, the, the moat uh, I'm actually going to get to the point where I can uh, I can open the floodgate and fill that with water. Not that, that adding the water will make much of a difference, but it should just make it look a bit nicer. It does look very plain with the grey though, doesn't it? Only a tenth of a second after my previous episode, but I have spotted this motherfucker right here. Check him out. He has spawned at the bottom corner of my map and has currently killed a chicken and set fire to one of my streetlights. I am not really sure how I'm supposed to kill the necromancer. So what I'm going to do is take my archer, I guess? Alden, you're the Eustace's one. And go and try and kill it. Um, let's assign you to guard Alden, and that way we have a little bit of backup, I guess. There is, nice, what? Why is that on fire? Ah, we have a skeleton now as well. Where's the range on this guy? I think I'm three skeletons over here. This is going to end badly. Don't keep trying to return to your guard position, you crazy person. Unfortunately, I have no... Whoa! That fireball lit... Oh, come on. How many skeletons are there? I like how Alden is currently doing... Oh, he's got no weapons attached. Doing nothing. Because I've not given him any weapons. That was a very failure. Oh, they need to turn that feature off, clearly. Annabelle just killed someone from infinite range. What? Skeletons are being killed. What's happening here? Can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in. This is a problem. There we go. Annabelle! Oh no! Killed the necromancer, but I'm assuming Annabelle. Where's Annabelle gone? Where's there? I. Uh, what? <laughs> All I can say is, what? What, what just happened? Um.
but the water has already filled that up. That's fine. You're an idiot. Must start with that end block this time. Stand there because you'll look like such an idiot when you get hit in the face with all the water. That'd be funny. I'm just going to watch it. Let's see what happens. He's blatantly going to get absolutely splashed by all the pressure from behind the dam. There we go. What an idiot. So he can work down that side. I need the other guy to work down this side. So you can, it looks like you already are, I want you to go here, start with the end piece. Oh, you've already broken the system, you idiot. Because of him, oh, he locked on, did he? I need you to come down here and help me build or fix stupidity. Stop, what you are doing. You're doing it properly. Or not, you could be stuck mining something that isn't there. Can't get you out of the map, can't see. Oh, I've broken everything. Ah, hello. Seemingly infinite progress bar. Interesting. No. No. Yes. Why won't you build that block? Because there's two of you again, you bunch of idiots. Unstop you. No. There we go. Now you should work that way around. Come on. We are nearly finished. Come on, are we ready? Pop the champagne. The dam is gone. Halle freaking Luya. So as you're the only person over here, Mr. Foster. Ah, oh, so close, isn't it? Oh, you're gonna be minor forever. Build. Ammo. Your ladder in case you need it. Gonna block yourself into a corner if you're not careful. Oh, I thought I'd missed a block then. Nearly screamed. <laughs>